Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for October 25th, 26th, and 27th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Sagittarius's. Hello, my Sagittarius. How are you? Well, Friday, Saturday, Sunday means that I use my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. I do have a cold, so I'm going to try to make this quick so I don't start sniffling or coughing for you. I mean, I hate that. I do hate that. So let's see what we have for my Sagittarius. It's on the 28th, we do have a new moon. It is in Scorpio. So, um, you know, remember full moon to new moon is the waning season. We get rid of stuff. And new moon to full moon is the waxing season. We ask for stuff. It's all good. So this is the time to still this weekend. Get rid of the stuff. Three cards face down. Middle card is reversed. Stronger message. Let's see what we have for my Sages. Knight of Fire. Oh, you're going. You're directional. You know what you want. Fire energy, your energy, along with our Aries and Leo, passionate and burning. And you know the Knights to me. They're very directional. They know what they want and they're going after it. So I feel like you have actually come to a point in your life. I mean, you are really, you really are. You have been leaving a lot of stuff behind you and you're going forward. So this is even that time for you to continue. Because remember, I talked about it in the long readings for the end of October about, you know, um, that Scorpio season itself. Now that's until that, what is it, the 22nd, 23rd of November. A lot of this is about meeting destiny. It's, so this is, destiny to me is also about, you know, meeting some karma. So this is, again, you're going forward and you're leaving a lot of stuff behind you. This is a great weekend for doing that. So passionate, adventurous, self-assured, and restless. A sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully. This one is reversed. The seven of water. So here again, this is, so here we had the sudden event, you know, and then it also said think things through carefully. So here we also have a complex decision. So here it is. This is something you're really thinking about passionately. And again, I really feel you're going forward and you want to leave a lot of stuff behind. But maybe there's some things that you that you actually have to work out still in order to leave them behind. I hope that me, makes sense to somebody. But seven itself is a very is also a very uh, buying type of number. Water is our our, you know, Cancer, Scorpio, we're in Scorpio season and Pisces, it's emotional and it's flowing. And this is about trying to figure out how you're going to do it. This is about, you know, this, whatever this decision is, a complex decision, the need to do research, stop procrastinating. I don't think you're going to be procrastinating because this, this is you going forward. You're like, no, I'm not doing, I'm not procrastinating. I'm making it. I have a resolution and you can hear me it's very strong because I'm talking faster. I really feel that this is your energy. It's very focused and I'm speaking faster. So it's like, no, I'm very passionate about whatever this is. Your last card is the page of earth. Okay, now I feel like I can slow down a little bit because this is, the page is very impulsive, but earth energy is very grounded energy too. So whatever, whatever this is, you know, whatever this decision is, whatever this passion is, whatever you're leaving behind to go forward, you're extremely grounded in whatever that decision is. Earth energy is our Taurus, our Virgo, our Capricorn energy solid. And it's also about money too, but it could be about home. It could something that you can touch. But I really feel that even though this is, this is you know, the page to me are, is rather impulsive. Not this page. This page actually is very grounded. Very much like I'm only going to do it if it if it benefits my situation. Not so much it does it benefit me, but does it benefit my situation. There's a little bit of a difference. It's not necessarily a selfish type of grounding. It's more a case of, you know, does it just does it benefit my situation? I just keep hearing that. Okay, so scholarly, dependable, patient, successful. Good news about financial matters, wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study. So this again, this is moving forward, but there is going to be some decisions to be 
looked at and to possibly be made but you are really i mean the ground the energy that i get with this how grounded you are and what i mean by that is you're not necessarily you're not as a fire sign you're not um you know you're not um burning out of control you're actually just you're using that passion, but you are using it in a very strong, directed, and, you know, I have to keep saying, grounded manner, okay? Okay. So this weekend looks really good for you. There is going to be whatever that decision's all about, you know, but again, time to leave things behind. Leave things, go, you know, let it go, okay? Okay, so my Sagittarius's, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, my Sagittarius, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.